Hi everyone, Paul Morbid here, Morbid Team Entertainment and Bullet Repair Philippines. Welcome to setting the focus and the lighting with your Bolex non-reflex D8L and similar models. These items, your tripod, a tape measure, a Sekonic light meter, of course your Bolex camera, and we're going to use Godzilla here as a subject. So let's get started. So what you want to do first is determine the lens that you wish to use. In this case here, I'm using the 36 millimeter. As you can see, it's located on the inside outer portion of the lens. This dial is your lens dial. As you can see, I'm using the 36 millimeter lens, so I have this dial that rotates back and forth set to 36. You'll see a little indention up here at the top. That little line matches with the 36. Next, this is my frames per second dial. This is the speed of the motor of the camera. I'm going to go ahead and set it to the red up here at the top. Same type of thing. At 18 frames per second. That's good enough. This dial here, I have it set for the light all the way open. And this switch right here is all the way down for full filming mode. Next, I've got to measure the footage using a tape measure from the subject, which is Godzilla here, to the camera body. So now I'm going to measure from the face of the eye of the subject, which is historically and typically done, all the way to the camera body. So what as you can see, I have essentially three feet right here. And we're looking right at where my finger is on the body, that silver part is where you want to put the uh, tape measure. So three feet of distance from the subject, which is Godzilla, to the silver line here on my uh, Bolex, non-reflex. Next, you need to set your ASA, ISO as it's called today. This is an older light meter. Check your film. And I have mine set to 40 in the dial here. On this one, there's a little tiny black pointer, little needle and this dial rotates here. So I've got mine set to 40 right in there. All right. And next, I want to hold my Sekonic light meter up to the face of my subject, which is, which is the king of monsters here. With my thumb on the silver button, press in to get my foot candle reading. Let go, it'll lock it. And I am at 250 foot candles. So again, now we're at 250 foot candles for the reading with a red needle up there. I need to take this dial and here there's a gray arrow and match it up with the foot candles up top, which is 250. So I've done that. So as you can see, 250 foot candles matches the gray arrow down here with 250. Now we go down to the bottom of the light meter. And the aperture number just below the frame rate number gives you your f-stop. Here, the red line goes straight down, 2.8. That is your f-stop to set on your lens. And just to make everything absolutely clear here, we're looking at the red cine for cinematography line down here. That's what you're going to be using for cinematography, the red section. All right. Now, you need to go to your lens, 
And remember, it's three feet. And the f-stop is 2.8. So we line all that up right there. Three feet at 2.8 for your f-stop on your lens. Now, you're ready to shoot. Just a tip for you. On some Bolex models and other vintage movie cameras, there was a circle with a line through it on the body here. This is where you put the other end of the tape measure when measuring from the subject to the body to get your focus for your lens. Uh, however, this is the Bolex P2 reflex camera, so you manually focus here. You don't have to worry too much about that. Due to the unique prism system, from the viewfinder all the way through through the lens. In other words, what you see is what you get. What the lens sees is what you get. Unlike in the non-reflex Bolex models and similar vintage movie cameras as well, there is no circle with a line through it. You just take the other end of the tape measure and put it right here to this piece of chrome on the body. All right? And a tip for you when using your Siconic light meter. If you're using it outside on an extremely bright and sunny day, before you do your reading, turn it to the back and locate your high slide, which is located here. Pull it out and insert it in the top right here. Just like that. Now, on a bright sunny day, you're ready to perform your light meter reading. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Whole Morbid of Morbid Team Entertainment in Bullock Repair Philippines. Thanks a lot. See ya.